Hey there, let's talk about website traffic and getting more of it for your business directory website. What's up everybody, I'm Justin, one of the co-founders here at Ideal Directories, and we're doing this session to answer a very commonly asked question among our active and potential clients. And that is, what do you recommend for getting more traffic to my business directory website? I love this question. It shows you're thinking, you get the purpose of your website's existence. You know, your goal is to get as much visibility as possible to the listings on your site, but don't worry, I got you. Now there's a million ways to get more visitors to your site, but naturally some work better than others. My goal here today is to give you the best possible ways to increase traffic with actionable items you can take advantage of right away. So let's do this. But before we jump right into it, I wanna take a quick moment to acquaint those of you who are new to this concept and idea by taking a quick step back and helping you understand exactly what Ideal Directories is. Ideal Directories is an easy to use software that allows anyone to launch their own hyper-local website for your community, featuring local businesses, coupons, events, and more in and around your neighborhood. You make money selling business listings and ads on your site. The more listings and ads you sell, the more money you make. Our easy to use directory software includes everything you need to get started. There's no technical experience required. Sales and marketing materials are included and you get our top notch ongoing support and training. There, that was easy. Now you're up to speed. So now that you know what it is and you're probably thinking, okay, I could totally see why and how shoppers in my area could benefit from having a site like this. But you're also thinking, hmm, in order for me to provide the most value for the advertisers on my site, I've got to make sure I'm actively driving traffic to the site so that as many people see their stuff as possible. Yes, the better you are at getting eyeballs onto your site, the more valuable a listing on your site becomes because more website traffic means a bigger audience and advertisers pay more to be exposed to a bigger audience. But let's first define website traffic. So it's typically measured using three common metrics, visitors, visits, and page views. And they're all measured over a period of time, most often in a month. So visitors is the number of unique devices that have accessed your site over the month. Visits is the number of times those devices have accessed your site during the month. And page views is the number of times a page of your site was accessed or loaded on a visitor's screen during the month. And generally speaking, visitors will always be the smallest of the three numbers. Visits will be equal to or greater than the visitors. And page views will always be equal to or greater than the number of visits. So to give you an example, I'm being accompanied today by two moderators. So there's three of us here, okay? If all three of us clicked on your website, it would register as three visitors, three visits, and three page views. And that's assuming we did not leave the homepage. Now, if I left the site, but then came back to it later on, the stats would now show still three visitors, but now four visits and four page views. Then if I clicked on an advertiser profile page on the site, so I left the homepage, that would count as a page view. So now the stats would show three visitors, four visits, and five page views. Hopefully that helps you wrap your head around that concept. Now, when we're talking about increasing traffic, especially for the purposes of this discussion, we'll be talking about things that primarily affect visitors, but it could also help build up your visits and page view numbers as well. And before we get into this, I think it's important for you to set some expectations for yourself. You know, if your site is designed to serve a small town or city of, you know, 10,000 population, for example, numbers, by the way, you can easily look up in Wikipedia or in census data, you cannot and should not expect that the number of visitors to your site will be 50,000 in a month, okay? In fact, it probably won't even come close to 10,000. I think that a good first traffic goal of yours should be to get 5% of your area's population in site visitors. So if your town or city is 10,000 population, hitting 500 visitors per month would be a very good first accomplishment. You know, what business wouldn't want that additional exposure, right? If you walked into your neighborhood pizzeria and told them you can advertise their business to 500 people for 50 bucks a month, don't you think they'd be interested in that? Of course. And remember, those 500 people are probably not gonna be the same 500 people every month, okay? So when you hit your goal, 
you can actually lead with your website traffic as a simple way for businesses to rationalize advertising with you. But more on that later. By the way, today, we are doing something very special. We're giving away some Ideal Directories coffee mugs for your participation, all right? Uh, it's where I drink my hustle juice out of. You got to have that coffee on your desk. These mugs look awesome on your desk. At the end, during our q and I'm going to tell you how you can win one of these. So stick around and pay attention, and you're going to see why. Now, before we get into our top 10 ways, I want to address three common myths and misconceptions that I hear all the time about website traffic. The first one is that your advertisers will ask about it, meaning that before you sign someone up, they're going to demand to see your website statistics. This is not true. Most advertisers do not ask this question. They don't even know what website statistics are. Do not let that stop you from going out there and selling listings, which is actually related to the second common misconception, is that you need traffic in order to start selling ads. Some people think that you have to establish a huge flow of traffic before you can make your first sales call and start appealing to advertisers. This is not true. You don't need to boast about your traffic to close a deal. And in some cases, openly admitting to the fact that your site is brand new and doesn't have a lot of visitors is a great way to get on the topic of what your plans are to market your site and the lifelong discount you're giving them for being an early adopter. We actually have a whole video on idealdirectories.com about selling listings before you have significant traffic to your site. So please go check that out. The third myth is that it costs a lot of money to get traffic. Nothing is less true than this. Nine out of the 10 recommendations I have for you today on building up website traffic are free. Zero dollars. And they can be very effective, sometimes even more effective than the paid options, depending on how you do them. Speaking of which, let's just get into it now. Let's go through the top 10 ways to increase traffic to your directory website. The number one way to increase traffic to your directory website is to add more listings to your site, as I just alluded to. The experts agree that content is king for generating website traffic. In the case of a directory website, your business listings make up the majority of your content. Every listing that you add to your site increases your chances of being found when a shopper searches for a product or business that's featured in your directory. The more listings you have in your directory, the better the chances are that your site will show up high in search results. And the higher your site appears in search results, the more traffic you'll get from people who click on it naturally. By adding local business listings to your directory website, you're providing more content for search engines like Google to crawl. Each business that you add to your site becomes a potential source of traffic that can benefit everyone and increase the value of advertising on your directory. So here's what you can do. To start off, I'd recommend adding 30 to 50 listings to your site for free. Use our local prospecting tool to find local businesses in your area who could benefit from having more exposure. And with one click, you can add them to your site with all their basic information in there already. Want to take it a half a step further? Spend three to five minutes grabbing content from their website or their Facebook page, add it to their listing, and make their listing look really good. The more quality content that you fetch and include on your site, the more everyone will benefit. Now, once you have those as a, as a base of sorts, as a foundation, you can then start selling additional listings on your site. And remember, just because you might be adding those listings for free now, doesn't mean you can't still approach them later and actually sell them their listing, okay? The number two way to increase traffic to your directory website is very closely related to the first one, and that's to submit your site to the search engines. You know that coming up high in search results is important because Google, Yahoo, and Bing are where basically everyone starts their online searching. They are what ultimately decide which sites get the most traffic, if you think about it. So it's important that they are made aware of the existence of your site. So submitting your site to the major search engines like Google is an important but often overlooked step in setting up a directory website. Submitting your site lets the search engines know your site is live and to begin crawling your site for content. 
The search engines then index your site's content and use it in relevant search results. This can help improve search engine rankings and drive traffic to your website when people search for local businesses and coupons in your area, which they're doing already. We recommend submitting your directory not just when you launch your site, but on a regular basis as you continue to add listings and content. So here's what you can do. You've got to reach out to the search engines and tell them and ask them to crawl your site. It's a fairly simple process, but you've got to just make the time to do it. Now, if you don't want to worry about it and just want to set it and forget it, then you have that option with our built-in search engine submission tool. Ideal Directories makes it pretty easy to submit your directory to Google, Yahoo, and Bing. With just one click, you can submit your directory website to the major search engines right from your dashboard. There's even a monthly option which will automatically resubmit your site every 30 days to help keep search engines aware of any updates that are made to your site. Easy peasy. The number three way to increase traffic to your directory website is to pay attention to your site's SEO. Search engine optimization is perhaps the best way to build organic and free traffic for your website. I want you to think for a moment about what you type into Google when searching locally. Try to get inside the head of other local consumers who are searching locally. What are they typing in? The concept of SEO can be intimidating, even scary to some people, but it's, it's simply a matter of putting the types of things people might be searching for on your site in a logical location and fashion. So, so the search engines can recognize it and put your site in the search results. If you have the content that people are searching for, then your site can have a very strong SEO strategy. So here's what you can do. Start by picking a good search-friendly domain name for your directory website, including the name of your town or city along with shop, save, deals, etc., is a smart way to brand yourself while also aligning with what people might already be searching for. Then complete the meta tags for each page and listing on your site to further optimize it. So meta tags are the unique terms that you assign to the title, description, and keywords for each page, including words like business directory, coupons, deals, and events, along with your local area's name is best practice. The more specific and the more tailored to your local community that you get, the better the results can be. Good news here, you can utilize Ideal Directory's auto SEO feature to help you craft great meta tags without you having to lift a finger. Now, if you prefer to do it yourself, we do have support articles on how to create your own perfect meta tags. Also, the main content on your site, the very first thing people see when they come to your directory website Make sure you're using keywords like local businesses, coupons, events, noticing a trend here, and also mention the town or city you're focusing on, right? Take a look at this example. Content that appears high up on the homepage like this is often heavily referenced by the search engines to determine a site's worthiness to come up in search results. Very, very important to include those key terms. Here's something else. You can also do stuff like, you know, create a Google business profile for your directory website business and even look to build backlinks with other local sites and organizations. When more sites are pointing people to your site, the search engines really like that. I'm going to stop there with things that you can do that will help your SEO. SEO is kind of broad and can get a little muddy sometimes. But these are the top things I think are important to consider when it comes to paying attention to your SEO. The number four way to increase traffic to your directory website is to promote it on social media. You know why? Because everyone is on social media. According to Statista.com, there are 2.9 billion users on Facebook. YouTube's got 2.6 billion. Instagram's at 1.5 billion. And TikTok just hit 1 billion. Think about it, do you know anyone who's not participating in some way on social media? Probably not. For that reason alone, social media is a great way to drive relevant traffic to your site because you can access pretty much everyone no matter where they are. So what can you do? Well, a lot, quite frankly. But once again, I'm going to stick to the top level stuff to get the basics covered. Regardless of which platform you start with, the things you can or should be doing are all pretty much the same. 
Like for example, you got to first create a page like on Facebook or presence for your brand. You know, YouTube calls it a channel. Instagram calls it a profile. You get the idea. That's first. From there, you engage with local businesses who are also on that platform. Then you're going to promote your active advertisers on there and post relevant content regularly. There are some platform specific strategies you can implement, but for the most part, if you do these things I just mentioned, you should be able to figure out the rest as you go. The number five way to increase traffic to your directory website is to send out a press release. Let's start by talking about what that even is for those of you who don't know. A press release is a short, compelling news story written by or for a company that gets sent to various news or publishing outlets for inclusion in their media. For example, most of the news you hear about on TV or see on social media that mention a company was likely written and distributed by that company because it was newsworthy information that was appealing to that channel's audience. And if you want to talk about newsworthy information, wouldn't everyone in your town or city be anxious and eager to learn about a new free way to find local deals, discounts, coupons, and events in and around their area that can be easily accessed by any computer or mobile device 24 seven? Heck yeah. Smart brands everywhere utilize press releases to build brand awareness, build credibility, and of course, drive traffic. So here's what you can do. I suggest writing a press release to announce the launch of your new directory website. We actually offer a free press release template when you join Ideal Directories that you can use and customize for your own website. It's professionally written and is the perfect way to introduce your community to the features and benefits that your directory website has to offer. So you take that press release and you customize it and you send it to the local newspapers and other media outlets in your area, and many will publish it in print online for free. Want even more exposure? Press release distribution services like pressrelease.com, one of several, will submit your article to hundreds of news outlets for one low fee. And from time to time, you can write other press releases every time you hit a milestone or achieve something in your business or your community. It's a great way to get the word out. Moving on to the number six way to increase traffic to your directory website. Become a resource to your community. Look, Every town, city, community can use a really good source of local information that's easily accessible, simple to search through, and preferably run by locals. So while the primary purpose of your directory website is to feature local businesses, get them exposure, and make money in the process, it can also go beyond that to offer community-related information. And here's how. Take a few minutes to add some community-related listings. Think about content that residents of your community would be interested in finding and that is relevant to your site. For example, you could start by adding listings for landmarks, uh, parks, public places like libraries, universities, post offices, hospitals, common tourist spots, town hall, whatever. For each of these listings, be sure to feature their upcoming events as well. And you can also get some SEO benefit because these additional listings would also help you get more search engine love. Now, time for the number seven way to increase traffic to your directory website, paid advertising. This is the one and only thing I'm mentioning today that you cannot do for free. But the good thing about it is that if you choose the right medium to advertise and you do it the right way, it could be the fastest and most effective way to increase traffic to your site. You could literally get instant results. In a lot of markets, you might find that you have the ability to pay for advertising in print, direct mail, etc. But in literally any market, I can guarantee you that you have the ability to pay for advertising on Google and Facebook. So here's what you can do. I'll focus this recommendation on the two options I know will work in any market, which are Google ads and Facebook ads. What's cool about them is that you, as soon as you turn them on, you can begin seeing traffic to your site. You can dial down to a very specific demographic and target any audience you want to. So with Google, you can bid on specific keywords relevant to your site, like local coupons or local businesses near me, stuff like that, along with your town or city. Now, your ads will appear at the top and or bottom of search result pages for those terms. And when someone clicks on it, they get taken to your site. What better place to, 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 to advertise, to have your website display than 
in search results in front of people who are actively searching for the things that they can find on your site, right? And those ads can actually follow users around the web getting displayed on other websites that they surf onto later that day, week, month, et cetera. Now with Facebook ads, I know you guys have all seen Facebook ads before, but basically, you know, as you scroll on mobile or along the right side on, on desktop, your audience will see ads for your site that they can click on to visit your site. Either way, you're able to measure the results and control your ad spending by setting a daily budget. Like a flick of a switch, you can immediately start getting local traffic to your directory website. However, I will say this, it's easy to overspend on these options. So be sure to monitor your ads and focus on only those that provide the most bang for your buck. The number eight way to increase traffic to your directory website is to start an email newsletter. So an email newsletter is a very popular form of email marketing that you can create and send out to an audience of local shoppers and business owners who might be interested in what your site has to offer. You probably get lots of email newsletters from brands or companies that interest you. In fact, according to Contextually, 93% of internet users have indicated they'd rather receive brand information in their email inbox rather than their social media feed. Email newsletters can help you stay at the forefront of customers' minds, and in some cases, email marketing can pay off more than other techniques like social media, direct mail, and even paid advertising. You know, imagine being able to offer your paying clients the ability for their company or brand to appear in local shoppers' email inboxes. So here's what you can do. First, you've got to set up an account with a company like MailChimp or Constant Contact, which you're both free to do. Those are tools you can use to facilitate the email blast or delivery of an email newsletter to all of your subscribers' inboxes. Next, get people added to your list. Now, fortunately for you, Ideal Directories has a built-in subscribers feature that lets visitors to your site opt into getting ongoing communications from you via email. You can import all these folks into your new MailChimp or Constant Contact account and also set up an email collection form for future subscribers to get added automatically. Then start crafting your content and send out these messages regularly, monthly, weekly, even daily. Within your newsletter, you can spotlight businesses listed on your directory. You can share coupons and even feature upcoming events. This can be an added incentive for businesses to be listed on your directory website, or you can charge a nominal fee for this type of supplemental marketing. Through this email newsletter, a business can reach an audience of local consumers who are, in fact, their ideal customers. Now we're at the number nine way to increase traffic to your directory website, which is to create video content. You saw before how many people are using YouTube on a regular basis. Video is tremendously popular right now. In fact, did you know that the number two search engine behind Google is actually YouTube? That's right, people are starting their online searches within YouTube looking for video results. But YouTube is just one of many places that accommodate video. You can post video content on Facebook, on TikTok, your own directory website, almost anywhere. Video content is super easy to consume. It's, it's, it's much more engaging, usually, than text and photos. And you can do so much more in a video that you really can't with any other type of content in terms of, you know, conveying messaging, telling a story, creating excitement, etc. So here's what you can do. Grab your cell phone. No, you don't need to invest in expensive audio and video equipment. Just start talking. I wouldn't even worry about a perfect script either. Sometimes just being real and authentic is more engaging than polished video content. Just look at TikTok success. Your videos can be a, a tour of a business. It can be an interview with a business owner. You could literally record yourself cold calling potential clients or get feedback from people who have just visited your site and discovered something they didn't know before. I've even seen some of our clients start like a, like a YouTube show of sorts with prizes, giveaways, collaborations between multiple local businesses looking to pile on for success and audience building. You have endless options and an and ever-growing thirst for video content online. Now for our number 10 way to increase traffic to your directory website. Promote your brand everywhere. 
Your brand is versatile, especially if you have a nice logo. It deserves the exposure. So put your logo, put your website address, and your brand as a whole anywhere you possibly can. Online, offline, everywhere in between. Your brand's popularity can determine your success. So pump it up and make a big deal about it. Specifically, here's what you can do. Make sure your logo and URL for your directory are front and center on all of your marketing material, all of your brochures, business cards, etc. I'd even recommend getting t-shirts with your logo on it, hats, pens, other promotional materials with your logo and web address on them. Wear them, use them, give them away. Then get a vehicle magnet made up, slap it on the side of your car. Why not become a driving billboard? While you're at it, talk to the local little league, see what it would take to sponsor a team. Join the Chamber of Commerce, get involved, maybe you know sponsor an event that they have coming up. Then go online, make sure your URL and your logo appears on all your social media profiles. Also create an email signature with your logo and your site URL, which can then get you clicks and attention with every email you send out. The key is to make the most of all your different channels, both online and offline. So those are the top 10 ways to increase traffic to your directory website. Now, there are many more, but again, those are where I think you could all potentially start. Regardless of how you go about this, I have some tips I wanna share with you before we wrap up. First, try everything. Don't just focus on one tactic. It's possible that you know the one you choose may not be the perfect fit for your community, your personality, or some other factor. Do several or all of the things I mentioned and see what sticks. Next, get creative. Utilize our resources as inspiration too. I mean, there are literally hundreds of ways to promote your site. So look at the resources we give you, including our marketing ebook, which you should all have access to if you're on board with us. Another tip, be patient. You can't expect each and every traffic building effort to have immediate results. Give them time to work. And on that topic, stay committed. Be persistent with your efforts. If you if you dabble in, in one tactic and then forget about it for three months, you won't be able to properly measure or judge its effectiveness, so stick to it. My last tip for you, just get going already. Don't overthink this. Just move forward, do something, take action, and do it now. Start your sales efforts while you're utilizing some of these marketing tactics. Look, even sales. Going door to door to sell listings is actually a way to increase traffic to your directory website. If someone says, oh, I didn't realize your site existed. Well, I say, go check it out. Literally, they could be accessing your site right in front of your eyes. You're driving traffic to your site. And you're mentioning your brand to a local resident. Maybe others in, in the shop can hear it as well. And they might put it into their phone or device or write it down. It's a form of promotion. Selling is a form of promotion in and of itself. So please... Get out there. Do not delay your sales efforts. All right? So at this point, I'd like to turn my attention to the Q&A screen where I will be happy to field any questions you might have about any of the ways to increase traffic that I mentioned. And like I teased earlier, here's your chance to win that Ideal Directories coffee mug. All right, here's how to win, okay? If you have an idea for a way to increase traffic, to your directory website that I did not mention. Post it in the Q&A and we'll get you an Ideal Directories coffee mug just like this sent out to you as a thank you. All right? Just post your idea as a question. We'll reach out to ask where we can send that coffee mug. First 10 people to post their ideas will win, so let's see your ideas. Go for it. Actually, actually one of you had already posted this about five minutes ago while I was talking. Caught my eye before. Well, even though it came through before I told you what the giveaway was, I'm going to count it. Michael. Michael, congratulations. You got yourself a mug. Michael said, can I run a Facebook contest to get more followers? Absolutely. I really like this idea. Um, do you happen to know what kind of contest you'd want to run? Out of curiosity, you can reply with a question. I mean, I, I've seen like, um, I've seen photo contests where you post a somewhat vague local photo and try to see who can guess its location. I've seen um, 
trivia contests where you can utilize some, you know, lesser known local history as your topics. Or even a selfie contest, challenge people to take a photo of themselves in front of five local businesses that are listed on your site. All of those, and I'm sure many others, could work very well. And when you, you know, boost your likes on your Facebook page, you're essentially boosting your audience, which you can turn into website visitors. So, Michael, that was a great one. You'll be getting your, your coffee mug. Awesome suggestion. All right. Now they're all flowing through. Let's see. Uh, here's one. Here's one I did not mention. Starting a blog or a podcast. Yes. Thank you, Sophia, for that one. Yeah, you heard me talk about content is king earlier, right? Well, you know, blog content, better yet podcast content, can be great for helping locals find your brand and visit your site. So first, you can add a blog page to your website and start creating articles or blog posts on a regular basis. Maybe you talk about local topics that affect the community. And then the podcast, you can literally do anything. You know, maybe it's a podcast where you just interview local business owners to learn about their stories and their success trajectory. And you can expose a wide audience of potential customers to some great local businesses. Both of these are really good ideas, Sophia. Thank you. You get a mug. Let's see. Oh, I like this one. You know, I was tempted to include this in the top 10. So this one is posting flyers specifically on community bulletin boards. Ginger wrote that one in. So you've probably all seen these bulletin boards as you're entering or leaving a local supermarket, coffee shop, or mechanic. Basically, a lot of local businesses will post um, these little bulletin boards. And then other businesses, people who own businesses, will post information about themselves to these boards. Maybe it's a flyer, a business card, whatever. And then consumers, shoppers, will pass it by, you know, snap a photo of, of whatever they see or jot it into their phone or whatever. It's a great, simple down and dirty way to drive local traffic to your site. So I love this one. That's three winners so far. All right. Now, some of you are posting things we already sort of spoke about. I'm seeing like a bunch of different ideas for what you might post to Instagram or on your social media page. Those are very good, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to elicit some responses for things that are a little more unique. Ooh. Like this one. All right. Paolo says, what about joining a local moms and dads group on Facebook? This I love. So yes, absolutely. I, I personally think it's a huge one. I probably should have mentioned this when we talked about Facebook before. So good job. Um, so Facebook, as you may or may not know, has all these different groups you can join. I'm probably a member of like 40 of them. And almost every town and every city has a moms or a dads or moms and dads group that someone has created. And it's, it's great because it's loaded with people posting about local businesses, local vendors, etc. I'm a member of one. It feels like every day someone's asking, you know, who's got a good plumber they recommend? Or does anyone know a good restaurant that does beer and wine specials? Stuff like that all the time. And if you can get in on those conversations... Not only can you network with people who might be interested in learning more about local businesses, but you can also post links to businesses that may offer whatever it is the person posting is asking about. So this is really a, a killer suggestion. I love this one. All right, let's do one more. Obviously, by the way, obviously I can't read all these suggestions, okay? <laughs> My moderators are replying to everyone I see that who, who I'm not uh, reading out loud here. And... and don't get, you can still win even if I don't read it out loud. Okay. So I see a lot of people asking, to, can I win a mug for my suggestion? Yes. Um, we still have a few left to give away, it looks like. Oh, you, know, you know what? This is when I scrolled past like twice already. I was just kind of dismissing it. But the more I think about it, it's actually a really good one. Rochelle said, I was thinking about hiring an intern. Yeah. You know, at first I was like, how is this going to help get traffic to your site? But then I realized that. A lot of these ideas I share with you today are things that you as the business owner don't necessarily have to do yourself. You know, if you had someone else's help, even if it was an intern, you'd be able to make quicker work of all this and maybe do more things all at once. So I'm all about this. Hire that intern. Good idea, Rochelle. You'll get a mug. All right, you know what? Let's stop here. 
And don't worry, keep the questions and comments coming. We'll we'll hang on a bit here to address them all. These were actually really great. Uh, fantastic participation. I really appreciate that. Um, so let's let's stop it here. I I I really appreciate your time and attention. It's been a lot more fun than I even thought doing this with you. I hope you got something out of this. And please use all these tips as quickly as you possibly can. I think you'll be very happy that you did implement some of these strategies. So with that, have a great rest of the day, rest of your week, rest of your month. I'll see you all later. And thanks again for being here. Take care.